welcome to this training mission in which we will cover programming and scrolling through MPDs and MPCDs. Please wait for everything to load properly. A very handy feature of the Strike Eagle is the ability to program all of the displays, which will allow you to switch through them with a flick of a finger, literally. On top of that, you can set them up specifically for each master mode, but we'll cover that in a different lesson. Let's say we want to have navigation related data on the left MPD. Go ahead and press push button 11 to access the menu 1 page. To program the displays, you have to box the program legend above push button 6. Press it now. With program boxed, you can choose three displays across all three menus and set them up in any order you like. Except, since I'm the instructor today, we're going to set them up the way I like. Anyway, to do so, simply press the push buttons next to the displays you want to program. Select HSI as your first screen with push button 3. You see that your selection and its sequence number is now displayed in the middle of the screen. Next, select 2's with push button 13. Third, press ADI with push button 1. On second thought, T's is not that useful for navigation. Fortunately, it's very easy to deselect any of the screens. Just press their respective push button once again. 13 in this case. Do it now. Two's disappeared from the list. Note that ADI did not move up. You just have a free slot number two. Let's fill it with tactical situation display. Push button five. To leave programming mode, simply press push button six to unbox the program legend. Good, now let's move to the right MPD where we will set up our radars and weapons. Press push button 11 to bring up the menu. Now press push button 6 to enter programming mode. First select air to air radar with push button 15. Next select air to ground radar with push button 14. Third, I want you to add the air to ground delivery page which is under menu 2. Therefore, you need to press push button 11 first to access it. Now press push button 2 to fill up the list. Good! Deselect program with push button 6. Finally, the MPCD. Let's get that stick out of the way. That's better. Enter the menu by pressing push button 11. Now enable programming with push button 6. Select T-Pod, 2's, and armament pages in any order you like. Good. Deselect program by pressing push button 6. Now let's move on to the last part of this lesson, where we talk about scrolling through programmed displays. You do this by short pressing the castle switch towards the display you want to change. For the left MPD, each actuation of the castle switch left will move you through your programmed displays in sequence from 1 to 3 and then back to 1. Try it now. For the right MPD, the first actuation will bring up the 2's page. Subsequent ones will scroll through the displays you set up. Note that if there's a pause longer than 5 seconds between presses, the next one will bring up the 2's page again. For the MPCD, 
the first actuation of the castle switch down will bring up the ADI page. Then things will work just like the right MPD. Very good. That's it for this lesson. Setting up the displays the way you want them in both the front and the back seat, which we'll cover in another lesson, reduces the workload and makes it easier for you to stay in front of the jet when things start getting dicey out there.